I love giving life to old things, creating and crafting. I'm Kathy with Goods and Vintage Treasures and welcome to my channel. Watch as I update this vintage buffet. First I cleaned it and painted it with shellac to prevent any bleed through. Then I painted it with DIY Prairie Gray. This was a new color for me. I used a French tip brush to get into the small areas. And I used a flatter sampler brush to do the flat top areas. You can purchase the brushes and the paints that I use in this video at GoodsAndVintageTreasures.com. The shellac you can get at any hardware store. DIY paint is full of pigment. It goes on thick and creamy. It has no bad odors. In fact, I always paint inside my studio, which is in my basement. I like to let the first coat of paint dry overnight before applying the second coat. I even painted the back of the piece. I think it gives it a nice finished look. When painting the second coat, it helps to spray it a bit with a mister bottle. That will help the paint move across smoothly and get a smooth finish. I like to let that second coat dry overnight too. And then it's time to add the sealer. I used our Big Top sealer from DIY Paint. Big Top is a liquid sealer, great to use under transfers, which I'm going to apply next. It has a bit of a shiny finish, but not real shiny. Notice how the color changes when you add the big top. It'll lighten up some, but this becomes the true color of the paint. I let the big top dry overnight before applying my transfer and I'm using the Exploration Transfer, a new transfer from IOD. It has wonderful globes, hot air balloons, and all kind of travel related transfers. Cut out this shape that you want. Here I chose the large hot air balloon for the top. Separate it from the paper on the backing and carefully place it down on your piece. If you have applied big top, it will transfer quite easily to your piece. You just rub it with the little tool that is provided and it will release from its paper and go onto your piece. I added some other pieces to the top, including some globes, following the same procedure. I also added a ship to the right side and an airplane to the left side, and I added some globes to the front. I 
place the two globes across the front of the door. After applying, I use my X-Acto knife to cut between the two to make a nice clean edge. When I was finished, I was excited with the results. This would make a great little wine cabinet or some other kind of storage. And the beautiful transfers give it a different kind of look. I was lucky enough to find some pools with compass rose on them. And I think they added a pop of color. I love how this piece turned out. And the prairie gray, a new color for me, was really nice too. You can get explorations, prairie gray, big top, and the brushes I used at GoodsAndVintageTreasures.com or locally I sell IOD at just around the corner in Lincoln and I sell the paint at Picket Fence Antiques and More in Newton, North Carolina. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to be reminded when I drop another video. Thanks for watching.